Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy Blurry Day back with another Clone Wars related video. Now, maybe some of you guys saw this coming. Um, I've been wanting to make a video about this separately, like whenever I can get to it. I've talked about this a few times on the channel. Um, I think the only way that could really do this movie justice, yep, the Clone Wars movie, the only way this movie, like, Dave Filoni can do this justice as if he could release an extended cut of this movie. Yep, you guys know what I'm talking about. We all know, through the course of the Clone Wars, all seven seasons of them, of course, this movie starts it off, but what really, really starts off the Clone Wars is Season 2, Episode 16, and Season 1, Episode 16, which is Cat, Cat and Mouse and the Hidden Enemy. Yep. It just doesn't make sense to me, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't make sense to a lot of you guys, too, especially your fans of the Clone Wars. Like, why did Dave and George cut out these two specific and important episodes out of the movie? Where they worry, like, oh, kids are not going to want to watch, like, a two-and-a-half-hour Star Wars movie because that's what the other movies are, right? Like, yes, this is a theatrical, full-length feature film, right? And I was talking to a fan today a little bit about this, like, especially how The Clone Wars was. Like, you know how uh, it's an inside joke, like, whoever talks about Star Wars is like, oh, The, the Clone Wars is a kid's show. But we all know that the real crap that goes on in, in this, like, at least this movie could have been the second PG-13 Star Wars movie. I'm not wrong on that. I, I, am I wrong on that, guys? And, again, a funny thing with the Clone Wars being on Cartoon Network was that, because we all know Cartoon Network's, like, track history, like, like their track record with their shows. Like, sure, they're meant for kids, but really, there's a lot of graphic stuff that goes on with it. And man, let me tell you guys, Cartoon Network was in their prime, and I'm happy that I got to watch most of the shows that, like, that I, that I did. Like, and I'm, I'm even surprised, like, how many cartoons I've survived. <laughs> um, and at least the Clone Wars series itself could have been TV-14, right? Like, as um, Season 7 of The Clone Wars that came out on Disney+, Plus, that should have been TV-14 as well. I think we all can agree on that. Um, but this also got me thinking. I've done research again on The Clone Wars. Like, I haven't seen these videos in a long time, and I haven't heard this uh, news in a while. But, like, was it after Season 7? I, I started watching, like, um, I don't know why I didn't dig into this when the series was, was over was season six. Um, besides season seven, there was going to be a season eight. I thought there was going to be season nine too, but like, um, you know what guys, after the season six debut of the show on Netflix, I feel like, I feel like Lucasfilm should have continued the Clone Wars on Disney XD. Cause you guys know with Star Wars Rebels, Every time it came on, like, it it didn't come on during the day all the time because I, I can see how much Lucasfilm and Dave were trying so hard to make Rebels dark as the Clone Wars. But hey, I like that even balance, you know, just like with the Defender saga, right? Like, I love how they have a different theme, whether it's dark or light, but they could still, like, carry on, like, 50-50 of those tones, like... That's what I like. And the, there were some dark moments in Rebels. Again, back to my point with Rebels, they they had it on, like, in the evenings, right? Like, okay, now it's time for the mature Disney XD kids. Like, um, yeah, I feel like they could have done that with the Clone Wars. Like, um, sure, it could have turned out a whole lot different than what we got. From my understanding, is there still 40 unfinished episodes I don't know if this counts, well, like, what we got in Season 7, and, um, I don't know, but, like, you got, like, the Dark Disciple, the Son of Dathomir, you know, and there was even gonna be, like, a Captain Rex and R2-D2 arc, like, like, those two, like, a clone and a droid, like, having their own adventures together, man, so, I trust 
Dave and John, what they're going to do with that, like, how, however they're going to put that into future Star Wars media, like, it, it could be either live action, animated, whatever, like, man, there's, there's hope, and I thought that the Boba Fett and Cad Bane arc was no longer canon, because I seriously thought back in the day, Boba actually straight up kill Cad Bane in cold blood, but it turns out he has, like, a metal plating in his head. And I forgot that small detail in the last episode of the Book of Boba Fett, like, how Cad Bane referenced, like, their their first fight. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I'm kind of getting off track. But this is Clone Wars related, right? So, again, I feel like... Again, I've always preached about, like, again, Dave Filoni should re-release the Clone Wars movie on 4K, right? Make it a special edition. Do what you gotta do, Dave. Like, um... Gosh. It's still unclear whether or not um, Dave wants to re-release the box set. Because, again, if you're gonna have a complete series, yes, you need to include the freaking movie again. I don't know what their plans are right now, guys. Especially what is going on at Disney, but oh my gosh. Seriously, Cat and Mouse and the Hidden Enemy are the most important parts of the, the battle of Christophsis arc. Like, it really sets it off, like... But again... The Star Wars website has, like, the proper episode timeline arcs, like, how you're supposed to watch the series. And I want to binge watch the Clone Wars again, but I'll make sure to watch it the, the proper way because, oh my gosh. You know how, like, with some TV shows, like, they, they do get some episodes mixed and we, we don't even know it because it, it feels like a continuation? Well, with the Clone Wars, they purposely did this, like... Even watching the show growing up, when I was, like, getting into Star Wars, I, I was confused at a lot of episodes. Like, why is this character back? Or, like, aren't they supposed to be dead? Or, like, because, again, they were out of order. We didn't know how to watch them. Well, you know, with the first two seasons, we could have easily watched the, the movie in the, the correct order, right? And, Dave, again, I highly doubt that you're watching this, but, again, to give this movie uh, justice... Like, don't just, like, okay, not only that you should add the two parts, but you should definitely give this a PG-13 rating. I think that's only fair. And as for the Clone Wars intros, um, with the movie, it starts us off, right? Like, they, it, it, like, it feels like we're immediately picking up after Attack of the Clones. I feel like, I feel like for a future extended cut, I feel like Dave could still have that and not have, like, what we had in Season 2, Episode 16, and Season 1, Episode 16. Like, keep the movie's intro. Like, oh man, especially, like, how every time I go into this movie, guys, I love just hearing the clones' voices, like, they're being under attack, and you, you have the Lucasfilm logo, and just, like, Star Wars proper, you have... A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Like, yes! This is a Star Wars movie. So, if you guys are looking to binge watch the movie again, just watch those first two episodes first. That's all I ask. Especially from a Star Wars fan, like, if you want a better perspective of the story, you gotta watch those two episodes first. And this is something that I want to look forward to when I do a marathon of the Clone Wars with friends or hopefully a girlfriend one day, like, I, I need to specifically and carefully explain to them, like, okay, listen, if we're going to do a marathon of the Clone Wars, we need to watch this and this and this and this and this. Like, you, you guys know what I mean. You get it. Um, it. 
if you guys know anything, please let me know right away. Because, cause, guys, seriously, I love, love this movie. It's that good, but like I said, the, the only way to do it justice is putting in those two episodes, making this an extended cut, yet making this a two and a half hour movie, and giving this a PG-13 rating. So that way, on a technicality, this would be the second PG-13 Star Wars film. That's the only way to make it fair, guys. That's how I see it. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to wrap it up here. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Please turn the post notification bell to share my content if you haven't already. And please, just tell me in the comments, guys, in your honest opinions, what do you think of the Clone Wars movie? Do you think, do you think, in your guys' perspectives, it could have been better for you guys? Like, do you agree with some of the points that I made? Like, yes, like, the, the, the first two episodes and giving it a PG-13 rating and all that stuff. Like, and it should it should get a 4K release. Like, yeah. Be because th this is a theatrical feature film, why not give it a re-release? This film has not gotten a re-release ever, so why not have it for a first time, huh? Give it the, the, the 4K Blu-ray treatment like the other films that we got in recent years. Because I love them. I love the covers. Because I, I, I love what Disney does with their covers. Like, wh whenever they have a specific franchise. that Like, you got Walt Disney Animation, Disney Pixar, Marvel Studios, and Lucasfilm. So on and so forth, right? And, of course, with the Fox ones. Like, again, with specific franchises, like, they have to match the same covers, right? Alright, um, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for that, and may the Lord, and may the Force be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out, guys, and remember, oh man, let me let me get this quote right. I, I, I quote this every time, well, a lot of the times on my videos in the descriptions. The Force is forever, for all generations. If you guys get that reference, comment down below. Alright, you guys have a good night. Bye, guys.